Are you tired of getting into power struggles with your child at bedtime? In this video, I am going to share my secret to smoother bedtimes. Hello, I'm Jacinth, a parenting coach and ex-school teacher. I have taught and transformed the lives of thousands of parents who apply positive parenting, research-backed strategies as they communicate effectively and connect meaningfully with their children. Bedtimes are a huge struggle for many parents and you are not alone if you are exhausted from getting your kids to go to bed. I am not a sleep expert, so I won't be able to provide sleep expert advice. However, I do know that you can't force children to sleep and what you can do is to provide a calming and conducive environment to help them to wind down and get their brain to go to rest. If you are yelling or screaming at your kids at bedtime, chances are their brains are in stress mode and it's really difficult for them to calm themselves down and go into rest mode. Think about your child's bedroom. Is it too dark or too bright? Is it too hot or too cold? Are there loud noises during bedtime that's affecting their sleep? Is your child watching screens just before bedtime? Very often, it is what your child does before bedtime that helps him to sleep better. So encourage your child to relax. He can read a book, listen to gentle music, or practice deep breathing. Some kids might take a longer time to wind down and that is when you need to start your bedtime routine earlier. Watch on to find out the importance of routines as well as my secret to smoother bedtimes and that is a bedtime routine chart. Now, this is not a normal bedtime routine chart. This is an interactive and personalized bedtime routine that has led to smoother bedtimes in my household. Most sleep experts will advocate a consistent bedtime routine. Routines are actions or habits that are performed on a regular basis. For example, a bedtime routine can look like your child taking a warm bath, drinking a cup of milk, brushing his teeth, putting on his pajamas, reading a book, and finally, going to bed and switching off the lights. Routines provide a sense of stability and predictability for children. As adults, we are very much in control of our lives because we know what is going to happen next. We can predict and we know how are we going to go on with our daily activities. Imagine a day where you don't have your watch and you don't know the time. They will lead to lots of anxiety and stress because you don't know if you're supposed to take the bus and move on to you know, the other destination. Similarly for children who are emotionally immature and have no concept of time, not having routines makes them feel very unsafe. This is especially true for children with the low adaptability temperament. For these kids, you want to provide a routine and make sure that they know what is going to happen next so that they don't feel overwhelmed. With consistent routines in place, children start to learn about trust and they feel safe with what is happening around them. Many times, parents have this misconception that having routines will cause a child to be rigid and inflexible in thought. They think that having these routines are like boundaries that restrict a child. This is far from the truth. With routines in place, it is actually easier for parents to make changes in small steps. For example, when the child is familiar with her bedtime routine, the parent can introduce a change like having another caregiver to put the child to bed. Because the child is familiar with the bedtime routine, introducing one change will not lead to too much uncertainty. Of course, there are tips that you can help to get your kids to be more adaptable. The first tip, where possible, try to preempt and communicate the changes in advance to your child. For example, if I know that I have a coaching call with my parents on Thursday nights, then I will speak to my children to let them know that my call is at 8 p.m. and I won't be able to put them to bed. The second tip is to talk about possible disruptions in advance and involve your child in the problem-solving process. For example, if we know that we are heading out to a grandparent's place and we'll be having a birthday celebration, we'll be back late, you can pose this problem to your kids that we will be back late, we'll only be home at 9pm. 
what are the bedtime routines that we can take away so that we can get you to sleep by 9.30. For me, I will definitely let my kids know in advance, even before we reach home, that we'll be back late and we are not able to read two books. So I ask them if they want me to read the two books the next day or we can read one short book. It is developmental for children to push boundaries. So expect that your child is going to stall bedtime. There is this quote that I read, no one is busier than a toddler at bedtime. <laughs> Suddenly, your child wants to drink water, use the toilet, read 10 books, tell you his imaginative story, and change into five different pajamas before he or she is satisfied. This is where you want to be the leader of the family and show off your leadership skills, let your child know the limits. And to avoid going head to head with your child with these power struggles, you want to have a bedtime routine chart. If you have been following me, you know I often talk about how children like to be in control. In my IG reel where I shared about how children like to gain power, this is exactly where we can offer age-appropriate control to your children at bedtime. So let your kids be part of the decision-making process for his bedtime routine. This will lead to increased independence and a healthy self-esteem. Let your child decide on the routine. But this does not mean that you can't set boundaries around it. You make the big decisions. For example, I would tell my kids that they definitely have to brush their teeth after drinking their milk and that we only can read two books at bedtime. If they come into the room late past 7.45, then we'll just have to read one storybook. Make sure that you communicate these boundaries clearly to your children and let them decide the sequence of events on their own. One problem that parents tell me is that we have a bedtime routine but my kids are not following it. Now this is where you want to reduce power struggles. You want to make these routines visually appealing and accessible to your children so that if they are to decide that they don't want to brush their teeth or they want to read 10 books, point them to the visual routine chart. And this is my secret to smoother bedtimes. I often lead my kids to the bedtime routine chart and let them tell me what they need to do instead of me nagging at them. When you incorporate visuals into your bedtime routine, it can be in the form of a chart, a poster, or a picture. For older kids, it can just be written down in words. The purpose of this is to let your kids know the sequence of events very clearly and that there is no room for any power struggles. If you have younger kids, I definitely recommend using pictures where they can see. For example, if it's time for two books, you can draw two books on the bedtime routine chart so that when they want to ask for more, you can just refer them to the chart. So I'm going to show you how you can create this customized interactive glider bedtime routine chart that I thought of it on my own. And don't worry, I have created a template for you. So watch on to see how I do it and Developing habits take time, so don't expect that your kids will be able to follow the routine overnight. Consistency is key. If one of the steps in the routine is not working, feel free to change it 
and involve your child in the problem-solving process, try it and see if it works for your child. Eventually, your child will not need this routine chart anymore. For me, this chart is kept in the cupboard because over the years, my kids have developed this habit on knowing what they need to do in order to go to bed. And not just me, I have many other parents who've been telling me how amazing this chart has helped with their bedtimes and how the parent doesn't need to nag at the kids anymore. When the kids can sleep well, they are not the only ones who reap the benefit. You get to enjoy your me time and your rest time. So I hope these tips have been helpful for you. The template to this interactive slider routine chart is in the description below. Feel free to click it, download it, and start creating this customized routine chart for your child. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have enjoyed it, please click like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I have more videos. And I would love that you share this with more parents so that they get to sleep more at night too. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!